I have about 50 devices connected to my Home Assistant through Zigbee 2 MQTT. For the most part, it has worked well, but once in a while I have been getting issues where buttons could be unresponsive or take a while to react to interactions. This is especially annoying for the rest of my family that isn't as technical as I am. They just want stuff to work. A working light switch is better than a non-working smart switch. So, I have decided to make the jump and change my Zigbee coordinator to something beefier and newer. And I think this is the first step to make my Zigbee network better. I always thought this would be a monumental task, where I had to reconnect all my devices and then update all automations, scripts, and dashboards if I named some devices differently. But to my surprise, it's actually a lot easier than that. With these coordinators from SM Lite, you can pretty much just swap it over. SM Lite coordinators are great because you can connect them to Zigbee 2 MQTT using USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi. That means if you use Wi-Fi or Ethernet, that you can have your coordinator in a central place in your house while your home assistant computer could be somewhere else. Also, if you have a switch with power over Ethernet, you only need to run an Ethernet cable to the device. I don't have PoE yet, so for now, I will run power from a USB port and will use the Wi-Fi connection, but I will probably swap over to Ethernet once I get a PoE switch. SM Lite sent me these two devices to test, the SLZB 6 p 7 and 6 m They look exactly the same, but they use different Zigbee chips. I wanted to test the 6 m but I realized that it wasn't possible to change the IEE address on this device. Changing the IEE address to the same as your previous coordinator makes it easier for some devices to connect to the new coordinator. So to make it as easy as possible for myself, I decided to use the P7 instead. Apparently this Zigbee chip works better in Zigbee 2 MQTT as well. I'm just gonna show this initial setup on the 06M since I forgot to record when I did it again on the P7, but the process is the same. After connecting the device to power, you can connect to its Wi-Fi hotspot and from there, you can connect it to your local Wi-Fi network. Once you've done that, you can access its dashboard from all devices on your network. I first set the radio mode to coordinator and connection mode to Wi-Fi. It then automatically asks for a Wi-Fi network. I could then scan for my Wi-Fi and put in the password. Once that's done, I can navigate to the coordinator dashboard from my desktop PC. All right. Let's actually start using this new coordinator in Home Assistant. Navigate to Zigbee 2 MQTT and go to Settings and About. Here we can see the IEE address. Copy this number without the 0x at the start. In the coordinator dashboard, go to the Z2M and ZHA page. Scroll to the bottom and you should see a section where we can update the IEE number. If you can't see this section, you might have to update the firmware first. So let's do that just in case. In Settings and Tools, go to Firmware Update and check for both Core and Zigbee updates. Install them both if there are any updates available. The device will reboot between the updates, and when it's back online, you should be on the latest version. Now we can head back to the Z2M and ZHA page, and hopefully the IE section should be at the bottom. If it isn't, you probably have a device that doesn't have support for changing the IEE number yet. You can still change your coordinator, but some of your devices might need to be repaired. Remember this number? Copy it into the Flash Custom IEE Address field in the Coordinator Dashboard. You will need to add in the colons. Then just press the Write IEE Address button. It will give a warning. Just press Flash and wait for it to finish. Once it is done, it might be a good idea to check that you're still on the latest firmware versions. Last thing we need to do is head back into the Z2M and ZHA page and copy the port code that it displays. You can play around with the other code as well, but I've found that it isn't really necessary. The transmit power depends on your Zigbee network. If you have enough routers in your network, it should be okay to leave this out. Then head over to Home Assistant Settings and go into Add-ons, then Zigbee 2 MQTT. Go into the Configuration tab and edit the serial code to the code we just got from the coordinator. It might be a good idea to keep the old port code just in case you change your mind. Click Save, go back to the Info tab and start the add-on. Now you can nervously look at the logs while you wait for Zigbee 2 MQTT to start up. After a while, Z2M should start up properly, and most if not all devices should still be online. I had two devices that showed up offline but after physically switching them on and off, they came back online. I'm really surprised about how easy this process was. 
After reading online, I thought I had to repair all my devices and then relink automations and dashboards. That would just be too big of a task, especially considering that my family are now used to this system and having it offline for a while would ruin the goodwill that I've built up. All in all, I'm really impressed with the SM Lite device. It's really nice to have a web interface with over-the-air updates, and they also seem really switched on about releasing new features. I love that I don't have to have it plugged into my home assistant anymore. It has made it possible for me to move my home assistant into a closet so I have less clutter in the living room. These guys are in Ukraine, so if you are looking to upgrade your Zigbee network, make sure that you pick one up from one of their official stores. So what's next? I still want to clean up my Zigbee network further. Now I have a great base to work off of, but I would like to rename most of the devices so that I have a consistent naming system. But that will cause problems with dashboards and automations. I'll let you know how I plan to fix that. Thanks for watching this video. Go check out SM Lite. Until next time, have a good one.